हेलो एंड वेलकम टू खेल नाउ टी वी यू आर वॉचिंग इन साइड इंडियन फुटबॉल एपिसोड नंबर फिफ्टी नाइन अनदर वीक ऑफ कॉन्ट्रोवर्सीज इन इंडियन फुटबॉल एंड आई थिंक द रिसेंट कन्वर्ट कॉन्ट्रोवर्सीज विच इज कम आउट फ्रॉम द इंडिया अंडर सेवेंटीन वुमेंस कैम्प इज ऑफकोर्स इट्स समथिंग वेरी वेरी सीरियस एंड इट्स बेसिकली एट द क्राइम लेवल यू नो वे पुलिस शुड बी गेट इन्वॉल्व Uh, but it's not good for the overall sport so we'll talk about those things what what is more coming out from the aff as we know there is a coa is appointed by supreme court and there are lots of stuff which is coming out from the aff i have done a podcast uh, with uh, mr saji prabhakaran uh, audio of first part uh, which is uh, regarding the aff aff president election who can fight those election will he going to stand on those election everything is there it's a 30 minute uh, mini episode so instead of doing one big podcast we have trimmed down the episodes into the uh, smaller parts so that's audio is available on the all the platform uh, of course and the video will be available by tonight or tomorrow morning uh, depending on the ankush work ankush ability of finishing it so we are waiting for him to give us the video file before we can upload it so do watch out that uh, to understand that how the elections are going to take place uh, at iff uh, you know who are the people who are eligible for the uh, uh, who can who can fight these president elections so this kind of stuff is there in that podcast so it's available on the audio platform anywhere uh, on all the audio platforms uh, wherever you want to listen apple podcast uh, if you want to listen if you want to uh, listen on google podcast spotify iTunes, Amazon Music, Gaana, Jio Saavn, it's available everywhere. Just search for Beyond the Score by Khelna. Uh, so that's podcast you can you can listen. And of course, uh, thank you for everybody for tuning in. Already we I can see around uh, 60 people who are waiting for uh, the live stream. Uh, we are a bit late. So thank you very much. Hi Neil, hi Sidi Prasad, hi Amlan, uh, uh, hi Krishna, Alexis Gaming, Hishan. Uh, i will try to take as many names as possible kumar reddy hi and killer p also hi so thank you thank you guys for waiting so so we will specifically start with the uh, uh, we will divide the show in the two part uh, three parts basically uh, i will start with uh, what's going at iff the recent the issue which has come up uh, what i heard uh, because i wanted to tweet something regarding the issue but i have not tweeted i thought of i will use the bigger platform which i feel is this show uh, we have people from every fans every fan fans joined it so i have a bigger audience to uh, uh, you know tell so i'm going to tell give my thoughts over the issue also and uh, then the second part we'll talk about the as usual with the majority of you are here for uh, which is the transverse uh, we'll talk about the transverse was going on and how again the another week where it notes how critical are these transverse you know Uh, to give it to give with this photo give an example with you know uh, northeast there there was update how the northeast coach is done uh, former gokulam coach was set to get appointed but then then you know that, that's what i keep on telling it's it's very easy to say the transfer is done uh, even before the because the transfers are closed paperwork is set to get signed and sometime the media fans or the itks of the transfers they announce deal is done deal is not done until like this the signature is taken from the uh, you know the taken from the both the parties so these are very critical uh, uh, time in terms of transfers you know so we can't say that x y z deal is done and then there is a time of agent using fans social media accounts media to influence club uh, to get to sign their athlete over other athlete or to sign their coach over others coach So I think that's where I've been. I've been saying for years now. Uh, say fans like of Kerala Blaster, they are very excited about their next or uh, their, their transfer targets, and uh, sometimes they have been used emotionally by uh, the agents and the players and the coaches to get their well to get the client value up. You know, in terms of these, and they try to pressurize the club because fans want that specific player or coach to get signed. So these things happen in the transfer market. This is not not new. so uh, we will talk about those stuff so, so i think let's 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 start about you know uh, uh, 
uh, and CD Prasad says uh, about uh, Ovesh, the deal, the the information which he broke out. That and that's what some that's the intent of uh, intent of Jamshedpur FC. People felt that they are not doing anything in the transfer window. See, they have paid 35 lakh rupees uh, for very good Indian player, a uh, defender. So that tells you that money is there. Money is not problem from Jamshedpur. They they're just looking for the. Uh, 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 better player in terms and the opportunities they feel which can improve their squad and they felt that Ovesh will improve their squad and they have given 35 lakh rupees transfer fee to Gokulam Kerala so which is a decent amount in the Indian transfer market by the way not many transfers have happened with the transfer fee we know that not many has happened in the past few few years some some of them happened in the past few years but I think this trend will be very regular uh, you know, uh, uh, this trend will be very regular going ahead. We are seeing that players are signing longer contracts, so you will not be able to find free agent easily. So, uh, you know, that's all about. Uh, um, now, let, let's let's start with the AFF. I think majority people are talking about that's only COA, Kushalda's regulation and all. Uh, and Kushalda was never supposed to continue the general secretary, by the way. So, because he's, he's already not eligible for the next term because of his age and everything so he was supposed to be leaving but of course he has now left AIFF house while it is burning uh, I think uh, as a general secretary maybe it was duty to clear all these uh, allegations over AIFF so I think which is he's of course running away uh, let, let's start from the main topic I think that's where the people um, Alex Ambrose India's under 17 assistant coach is kind of uh, allergy you can say it till now because it's not proven as of now but of course uh, has been thrown out of the uh, camp uh, at in Europe uh, based on the head coach report to the AFF. Of course, the information kind of started coming few days back, and I think uh, the name didn't came out. But a few people in this in the network knew about it, but they they thought it it may hopefully it will be false. But I think ultimately when everything came out, he has been thrown out of the camp. And what I'm told now that this is not something very new. Uh, Alex Ambrose uh, rise to the national team uh, uh, structure of coaching in women's uh, women women department is always questions by few people. Few feel that his CV was not there to be the head coach of various team which he was. That's one thing. Second thing is he eventually came to the national team setup when you know one of his friend and former teammate also got the influence uh, got the big position at AFF you know in the national team department and at the same time he started getting these roles uh, these role at the national team uh, women's team what i'm told is that you know uh, the women's team senior team players some of senior team players have already complained about about him in past only thing I'm not aware that what was the nature of those complaints, were the uh, it was more of the coaching side or it was the uh, other side. But now the things, the way things coming out that you know uh, uh, that you know the, the, some players, some girls have already verbally complained about him, and ultimately now when the this thing came out in public that you know uh, the one of the uh, the girls were missing from their room, and ultimately uh, the uh, national team head coach, uh, under 17 head coach has f found the girl at his room I think and, and it's very critical and it's I think that should be the last thing you, you you want that your national team women's players or girls are not feeling safe at the national camp and uh, what after this you know why uh, there should be no uh, police complaint over this you know that's one thing uh, and why the police should not be involved I think I think and that's the major thing and uh, the more stuff is coming out from AIFF. We have seen people leaving. Kushal Das have left. Parful Patel has already kind of he's completed his term, so he's out of this scenario. Uh, one major thing which I discussed with the uh, Saji Prabhakar and also Kumar Reddy, uh, you have very uh, you know uh, 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 you have seen. If you have not listened to that podcast, go. You will you will you, the question you are asking will get your answer. My simple question is: uh, there are seventy five plus full time employees with AIFF. And nearly uh, 50 uh, consultant with the IFF, if I remember correctly, yes, uh, nearly 50, uh, 50 or 75 consultant with the IFF. They are on the payroll of the IFF. Uh, what about those people who will do the scrutiny, who will judge them? Because uh, of course we are talking about uh, we are talking about president, general secretary. Of course they are they were supposed to go. New president, new general secretary will come. What about the employees who are there for years now? Uh, how their performance should be judged because uh, there is there is person at IFF who is responsible for national team friendlies, national team broadcasts, national team training camp and everything. So the question should be 
you know ask to him there is a there's a person at the iff who is who is in charge of i league youth league women's league if something is not going good he should be answerable and the same way there's a there's a person for administrative there's a person for the youth football there is a person for coaching there's a person for women's football so ye sab log already hain उन लोगों से भी सवाल करने बहुत जरूरी है इस टाइम पे आ, मेरा ये मानना है नॉट जस्ट बाय रिमूविंग जनरल सेक्रेटरी एंड द प्रेसिडेंट द थिंग्स विल इम्प्रूव इन इंडियन फुटबॉल आई थिंक दोज थिंग्स विल ओनली स्टार्ट गेटिंग इम्प्रूव व्हेन यू विल फाइंड पैशनेट पीपल वर्किंग ऑन ऑल ऑफ दिस डिपार्टमेंट हु इज रेडी टू गिव आंसर इफ दे नॉट एबल टू द जॉब राइट नाउ इट्स नॉट अवेयर दैट यू नो हु आर दीज पीपल वाई दे आर देयर some questions has been raised over the uh, you know uh, these people credential to be on those position uh, some of these position has been filled by the influence of their friends who are already there at iff so i think i think these things uh, hopefully the coa is looking into it uh, we are trying to also get in touch with coa if the concern regarding say media has also some concerns so they should talk to coa to wo sab cheeze hain uh, and uh, just like robin is also telling that uttarakhand i have read that football association president को नैनीताल हाई कोर्ट ने दो साल की सजा दे दी है अमरदीप संधू ऐसे लोग बैठे हैं उत्तराखंड का नाश कर दिया है इतने सालों से एंड उत्तराखंड फुटबॉल एसोसिएशन का कहानी एक और ये है कि लोकल आदमी नहीं है उस एसोसिएशन में बाय द वे यू नो देर इज नो लोकल पीपल इन दैट एसोसिएशन पता नहीं बाहर से आके लोग बैठे हुए हैं एंड दैट उत्तराखंड मे बी अ स्मॉल स्टेट इन टर्म्स ऑफ टैलेंट इन टर्म्स ऑफ फुटबॉल रीच आउट रूज देयर इज वेरी गुड we have seen in recent time lots of uttarakhandi footballers coming into i league isl national team anru thapa is one of the biggest example by the way but rohit dhano is another top uttarakhandi player is playing dipinder negi in recent time you know there there were there were more players in past who have played you know for india u teams and for uh, india senior team also so wo talent is there but there is no federation uttarakhand federation do zero of uh, zero work to nurture those talent there is no proper leagues there is no proper clubs at the state so i think and this is not the story of uttarakhand story of 90% of state association of india same story with up rajasthan punjab haryana uh, himachal pradesh uh, same story of bihar madhya pradesh uh, chatisgarh if football and of course uh, people will say football is not popular there football is of course definitely popular there and uh, it just that you know there is not correct people to lead those uh, lead those football revolution those state to give an example kerala football association the recent uh, the recent committee of kerala football association have worked to spread and develop football in the state previous regime didn't done that so that the same thing need to be done in other federation also you need new people to come in to head those uh, those federation and do well saurav rana thank you for 100 rupees super chat so i think uh, the there will be more issues coming out of my iff there are more stuff which will come out regarding the national team uh, one of the one of the uh, one of the tweet i uh, tweeted last week on my twitter if you guys can go and see it uh, i i there just after under 17 world cup uh, one of the senior official uh, from iff uh, kind of locked all the player inside the room in jerin stadium after the last game for one hour and you know kind of told player very strictly that they are not allowed to go anywhere not to sign any club all of them will come and play for indian arrows next is it right thing uh, no uh, the, the way the message is going it's not it players should be given freedom if they want to go out they want to play in isl it's their choice federation should not decide that where players should be playing it's player choice if they, if they want to make a uh, wrong choice you know if they want to stay in indian arrow let them stay but to to tell them strictly that they are not allowed to go anywhere is very wrong thing so i think i think hopefully uh, this thing will change as things are coming out and uh, it's not these things are not people are aware of it everybody knew players told their friends family but again they can't do anything because they have to play the indian national team and they feel threatened that if they do do anything their position at the national team uh, might be in question uh, football so popular in uttarakhand but government or association ka bhi promote hi nahi karta hai jis tarike se kerala goa kolkata north east mein hota hai uh, robin main yahi keh raha hu robin bhai and i have seen this i personally tried to reach out people in uttarakhand but koi fayda nahi hai because people sitting at the top of the federation they don't want to do anything uh, uh, i have no idea sarfraz india should play against the teams like top from pot 1 2 and 3 i think it's important for india to improve their friendlies we need to play more and more friendlies to get a fifa ranking up so i think that's very important but let's see how they do it 
Uh, why so much silence? I will come towards Jamshedpur FC, their coaches and everything later on. So that's that's from EFF. So now thing is, uh, there is a big question mark. FIFA has told strictly if new execu executive committee doesn't come by the time deadline ends, India's rights to hold uh, FIFA under 17 Women's World Cup might be taken away because their backup host is ready to host it. So I think it will not happen under the watch of COA because it will happen under the watch of AIFF, a new executive committee. So that's one thing. Another thing is uh, uh, Pakistan ban has been lifted by FIFA. So I think <laughs> India will not want, get want to ban from FIFA. So, uh, so I think hopefully COA and all the people who are involved get this thing done very quickly, get the elections happen and get the right people to be, uh, again, it's not COA hand who wins the election ultimately votes will be done by states, state federation, MA, state MA members you can say of AFF. So I think uh, they have been actively now uh, getting things done. So let's see, uh, CD uh, Parful been investigated by ED for quite a few years yet he continued for years as a FA president. Kushal Das enjoyed his job for more than 10 years. These type of cases coming out last few years exposing. I think that's what happened you know. Uh, these, and it's not the AFF is the ideal federation in India. Uh, they have their own issues. Those issues didn't came out. Now it started coming out, and they will you will will start getting more and more issues. Even the senior team players, sometime uh, what I've told you know, uh, they were not happy the way things worked. Uh, in terms of the you know, uh, they felt that sometimes the selection is influenced by the non non coaching staff at the AFF. So I think, I think these things are very critical, and hopefully now we are going through this process. This will clean the house, and we'll have everything. Uh, uh, everything you know, uh, everything in uh, in order. Please reveal the name of the official Ashish. That's why I am saying there should not be team in the league from National Federation. Please remove or do not keep Indian arrows from the league. And I think maybe uh, I remember when Indian arrows fund first came, Palayan arrows if they were known as it was run by them. I think they can do something very this kind of structure. You know, uh, to give an example, maybe Odisha government can. Uh, take over the Indian arrows and let them run it. Uh, I think uh, they want to do it. They have they have done in past. So I think I think Indian arrows maybe it required because you still want Indian players to get more and more game time. But I think again it's very conflicting because of as of national team federation you can't uh, get the transfer fee from selling players. You are eligible for the training compensation. You should get it, but not the transfer fee because it's maybe if you want to keep Indian arrows organize a draft for these Indian players. Let's draft happen and let's players, uh, clubs take turn out of I League, ISL clubs take turn out to sign these players. You know, and uh, there should be no, there should be a base price for these players. Clearly, you know, say 20 lakh, 30 lakhs a year, a fee, and that's it. And they fix a uh, uh, training compensation which uh, AFF as a, uh, if they have trained these players uh, to, to receive, which is which is there in the FIFA's laws already. So I think I think that's the thing. AFA, AFF CEO met um, STMAC, Sunil Chetri, Gopal Sandhu, and Sandesh Jingan. Any update on this? Uh, I have to ask because we are trying to get also time to meet the CEOA also personally. Uh, uh, what, what, can you tell what is wrong with Goa football fixing failure in Santos Trophy failure in under 17 women's team? Uh, Goa Pro League fixing uh, have been there for last 4-5 years. Uh, the reason uh, it's, it's, it, the, why fixing has been there in Goa Pro League is because the number of bets Goa, Goa Pro League received from the Europe, South America, North America is very high in number. Um, the betting interest in Goa Pro is very high. And why the betting interest is also very high? Because they can get the result influence, you know, because these things ha was happening for last three, four years. And that's why it keep on happening, you know. Uh, so I think, but uh, if the integrity officer is there from FIFA, AFC looking into it, it should not happen. And hopefully now, again, every year we, we hear from GFA that the, some of the games have been come out as the on the radar of the fixing. So I think, uh, and why they're failing at the national level, I think, uh, I still feel, uh, uh, f say, five to seven years ago, or even eight, ten years ago, you can say ten years ago, 2011 from now, uh, kids in Goa saw football as a career, as, a, as an option, and they started taking it very seriously. I feel that uh, that is going away from Goa, kind of, and now there's a better options for them, they feel, uh, you know. Uh, if you guys uh, not remember, but there's a batch of uh, Gurupit Singh Sandhu. Uh, in the batch of Gurupit Singh, there was a centre-back from Goa, Dempo, Pr Pramtesh, if I remember his game, name properly. He was a very good centre-back and ultimately he took a modelling as a career over football, you know. 
and this is before ISL came of course. So I think that need to change. Uh, maybe in Goa, people feel people not playing professionally enough. Uh, the, even the sports is spread across, and uh, sometimes club doesn't release their player for the national team, uh, national tournament. So that's the, that's the thing. Internet football team ke preparation ke baare mein bataye SAF AFC qualifiers samne hai. Uh, SAF ke liye camp chal raha hai uh, Kolkata mein if I remember or Odisha mein I have to check. So wo already chal raha hai camp. Uh, players have been called. Selection hua hai, uh, but it's a it's a long larger kind of a camp. Abhi usme shortlist honge, to naam aapke samne aayenge. Abhi selection camp chalu hua hai. Uh, wo maine bata diya hai Raju Paul. Uh, Ranjit Dadi in interview said that three ISL club were not interested in continuing in ISL. Now these club are funded by Reliance. Is it true? I think not heard as such. Uh, Bharat maybe if Ranjit is saying he will have something to back these uh, these statement. Uh, because uh, uh, three ISL clubs, I think until as he names it, I am not sure. Kerala Blaster, no. FC Goa, no. Mumbai City, no. Bangalore, no. ATK Monga, no. East Bengal, no. Uh, Odisha FC, no. Northeast, I am not sure. Northeast was, of course, looking for the investor, but I am not sure Alliance are running them. Damshetra FC, no. Chennai FC, no. Hyderabad FC, no. I don't think there's three clubs. I think ultimately we see clubs who spend less in terms of the salaries in recent time are uh, Northeast. Uh, you can say uh, Kenan FC has also kind of decreased budget in recent time uh, to and third, uh, Jimshetpur FC always have a limited budget. They have not spent overspend in past also. So you can't say they are underspending. So let's see. Uh, do you think CMAC uh, will continue nowadays to get he got support from more national teams including Chetri? Chetri by 2. Uh, I think he will continue because uh, the time duration to change coach is not there. Uh, we don't have enough time to get a new coach, to get a new coaching staff and to implement their philosophy. You know, and uh, 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 in the short span of time because uh, there's a club commitment is there. Limited FIFA friendly windows and then there's Asia Cup in the next year. Highest paid Indian player, don't tell the name but salary. Uh, there will be a new name in that uh, Ikoro uh, for sure. Uh, that should be around three crores a year. Uh, but abhi tak wo contract officially done nahi hua hai. So the moment they get done, you will hear about it. Uh, yeah, and and kudos to by the way, Amlan has raised the question also. Odisha FC have started their women's team. I think I think uh, of course they're getting praise. There should be, but uh, that should be the minimum requirement. I've said from all the ISL team. Uh, you know, to, to have women's team and it's great that uh, Odisha FC have done that and other clubs should also done that. Uh, they should get the credit for it but I think that's the minimum requirement I should feel from the ISL franchisee we should have. So hopefully other teams follow Odisha FC and have the, you know, uh, uh, have the women's team. Uh, how should an I-League player be made uh, fit into ISL team since many I-League players are being signed by ISL club? I think uh, when I-League players get signed, they should see that, you know, wh where they are at in the hierarchy of competition at that those position which they play into if they are th third or fourth i think i should i will not go into this isl team even if i'm second or third i will i will try and fight for for fight for my place so i think uh, that's one uh, another thing is when you go go for early pre-season uh, if say for pre-season your pre-season team pre-season is starting on 20th of july i will go and have my personal training started from 5th of july i will be early then other team players 15, 15 days early in, in my fitness, in my physique, in my uh, stamina, in my, in my, you know, the physicality wise, I will be 15 days early. That's how you can maybe, uh, you know, impress the coach because your intensity will be better uh, than the other players. So I think, I think you have to put extra effort, uh, you know, uh, to get it. Uh, East Bengal, still the contract has been not signed, the final terms between the, the the investor and the club have been decided investors want 80 20 split if i remember correctly a club wants 70 13 uh, split i think uh, it's more of a power game here and the investor doesn't want to repeat the mistake of quest and the uh, series events they don't want to go ahead uh, to form the team without signing the agreements that's also very important for a uh, point uh, Ranjit sir wants 5 I League team promoted to ISL. Don't you think that it will lower the quality of ISL? I don't think, uh, and that's his personal opinion. And again, I am, again, you guys asking again, again, his personal opinion questions to me. I don't feel that their 5 I League teams are ready to be promoted in the ISL. And I don't feel uh, the Indian top, top level football is ready for 16 team. 
uh, we don't have enough good quality Indian players to sustain these teams, 15, 16 teams in, in a league. If you promote five five teams in uh, ISL, there will be at least six games. Uh, if so, there will be eight games in a week. For example, there will be at least three to four games in a week, which will be dead rubbers, and uh, that will eventually decrease the TV ratings overall and the competitiveness of the league also so i think that's the league expansion should ha should, should um, you know uh, uh, should uh, happen slowly not at that fast another reason is um, the can they match the budgets of this team we already see the difference in the isl now between the budgets of isl teams top teams atk monmagan mumbai city fc and other teams and then the third tire is also getting created there's a mid tire there's a bottom tire and there's a first tire so i think uh, you know uh, and i think it's look tough if i feel because then there will be fourth tire also and you don't want this kind of discrimination in terms of budget only in a single league you can have a two tire or three tire but not four or five tires in terms of the budget so i think that will eventually also decrease the kind of players they will sign and everything i think let's take it slowly i think there there are there is at least one team uh, two teams, I feel, uh, who can compete and come in the ISL. I think it's Gokulam Kerala and Mohammedan Sporting. If if they're done, if they're done properly and done back by proper investors, and these two teams can come into ISL, and the level will be not much down. So I think, but not five teams. I I don't have five names who can get promoted from I League to ISL at this right now. Uh, uh, by choose one bright uh, Stuart Mendoza. I will choose Mendoza. Uh, and there is another question from CD Pasad. If JFC Youth League is happening in Jamshedpur right now, honestly, saying, not lying, today in afternoon it was raining, then also there was a, quite a good number of crowd, including me, watching the game. Even before Jamshedpur FC came into uh, scenario, we all remember Tata Football Academy and the, the, the City League and the State League match getting good crowd in Jamshedpur. So there is no question mark over the passion of uh, people uh, living in Jamshedpur for football. Uh, so, does AFF have any plan to introduce junior leagues in future? There is junior league already in place uh, before the COVID. Under 14, under 16, under 18 leagues used to be used to be happened. It will happen again. So, don't worry about it. Now, now let's quickly summarize the transfers for which you guys in. Uh, before we move there, 64 likes, over 100 people watching. Can we get 100 likes quickly, guys? Uh, just hit the uh, like button and I will go through the transfer list and the uh, insight on these deals which have been kind of announced or set to be announced. Let's start for Bengaluru FC. Today only they have announced the signing of goalkeeper Amrit Gope and winger Faisal Ali. Interesting Faisal Ali signing again. Uh, where he will play? That's another question. But does it look like Faisal Ali is replacing, you know, Ashik in terms of the uh, hierarchy level? But uh, they already have lots of talent in those wings. So let's see. Uh, Hira Mondal case is very unique. Uh, there is reports that he has signed, uh, conflicting reports from players that he has not signed. Uh, he is getting pressurized from East Bengal, of course, he's a uh, kind of a local East, from heart, he's an East Bengal fan. Uh, but of course, he has the offer from BFC uh, and um, he already had offer from two more ISL team. Uh, and at this stage, I think uh, last what I heard, the contract was sent by the BFC to him. Uh, not heard that the, the signed contract has been written as of now not. Hyderabad FC of course have announced today only I think Lakshmani Kattimani extension till 2024. Interesting I think they st I still feel they need a goalkeeper going ahead. Uh, Channel FC have been very busy in recent time in the transfer window. They kind of completed their, uh, not completed but kind of half or more than full their uh, the uh, foreign quota. They have uh, announced the signing of two uh, centre back. Uh, one is Asian, uh, Bafa Haq. Wafa Hakim Manisi, 31 year old Irani player. Uh, but I think I don't feel him as a first choice uh, centre back if you ask me because I think he will be more of a backup to um, the other guy. But uh, decent signing, has the experience of playing in um, the Persian Gulf League, Pro League, which is which is a very good level. Recently played in AFC Champions League also. So I think I think if they want to play two centre back, depending on you know the profile, I think he will of course play. But if they play only one centre back, I think he will be second in the list. Uh, and in the foreigner list. So I think he has, he has good signing overall and it's great. Finally, uh, Chilean FC has always uh, interesting Asian players compared to other, other ISL teams because they always go for these uh, uh, unique Asian players, not, not everything from the, you know, uh, uh, not everybody from the A-League or, you know, Australia kind of thing. Second, uh, Falayu uh, Diane, they have signed uh, uh, a centre-back who has experience of playing in, you know, League 1 
played nearly 78 matches in the France top league, 59 matches in Bundesliga. Uh, and that's a very good CV in terms of, you know, because as a centre back, you play in the top, top league, you are very top, top player. One of the, the, the signing till now in terms of the profile. Uh, not the big name, but centre backs are never the big name uh, generally. So I think a good centre back looks, if to me looks like a uh, looks like a first choice. Uh, he looks like more a first choice if they play only one foreign centre back. We have to see overall team when they uh, decide they have two foreign centre back or they play one foreign centre back. Now they have also offered contracts to two centre forwards or two strikers. By the way, those both the deals uh, till last few days was not done. Uh, but the contract was offered, one was to uh, Peter uh, Silvaswick, to, they have offered the contract. Um, but uh, I think he more like a backup centre forward to me. Uh, recent time not score much goals. I think best season came in, uh, best season came last year when he scored 13 goals. Uh, not last year, 2020, 20, two years back. Uh, to, uh, to, yeah. 2020-2021 uh, season, not the previous season, where he scored the 13 goals, but since then it struggled for the goals. Uh, and I think uh, can play as a centre forward, that will be the position, can play uh, as a left finger also, but don't think he plays a left finger. But I think uh, uh, another player which they are they have offered contract to, same both the strikers they have offered contract and I think uh, should be done, there should be no issues because clubs only offer contract when they are set, when the, all the terms and everything is agreed. Uh, is uh, the player who is playing in Thai league by the way Kwame uh, Kari Kari looks like um, uh, on the mould of Mendoza by the way but not at the, I, I still, still feel Mendoza was a different level but I think it's a good good record uh, in Asian leagues also Thai league is at a very very decent level by the way uh, you know has uh, scored 13 goals nearly 17 goals in 21-22 uh, season in Thailand 13 league goals 4 uh, cup goals uh, again, typical centre forward. So looks like two foreign centre forward they are they are going to go for. Uh, but still, the both the deals, I am not sure of the latest of today. But last yes, till yesterday they offered these contracts to these two players. Of course, names are out in public. So nothing new here. But I just wanted to speak about, it and I think um, they should be done. Now let's let's come to the Kerala Blaster because the case is very interesting because um, uh, the name of uh, Rafael Lopez came out uh, in last few days. Uh, he is one of the target for Kerala Blaster, but it, he is not in the top of their list. Uh, every club, when they when they uh, do these player signing, they have a three to four names which they want to reach out to. Number first first choice, second choice, third choice, fourth choice. Rafael Lopez's name has come out in a surprising way. Clubs feel so, and he is not the first choice for sure. Uh, but of course, he is in the list of the Kerala Blaster, but uh, nowhere near to be done. We can call this deal. Uh, the terms have been not agreed. The contract has been not offered. Uh, as of now, looks like a you know a bit of average uh, uh, CV overall. So not sure uh, you know if I can uh, uh, if I can call it uh, you know in terms of done done deal as of now. But I think we have to wait before we can you know uh, uh, say that. But he is not at the top of the list. That, that that's that's for example that's very sure. I was told you know uh, just let me take it full screen. Yeah. Uh, so, but uh, his the way his name has come out is that the somebody using influence to kind of get this deal done. But this deal is not done. What I'm told by the club source, Jamshedpur FC, uh, their target they are already close to their targets, the coach and everybody. But again, uh, it's taking some time. And I think again, I can't say that you know why it's taking some time. But I think they will get the deals done very soon. Uh, Mohammed uh, Uvesh is have signed kind of three year deals with them. Uh, 35 lakh rupees transfer fee to Gokulam Kerala in return and uh, he has signed a good deal, a uh, three year deal and I think uh, this this deal is done for sure. Mumbai City FC announced Changte's uh, deal in permanent and I think uh, Vinit Rai should be also done very soon for them. Again, you know, uh, they are working and I think uh, uh, still there is no clarity as of, as of now given to us uh, by sources or the club when we reach out to of who will be the head coach as of now. So, because last season also, when you, if you remember uh, correctly, uh, Sergio uh, Lovera, uh, Sergio Lovera, right? Was, you know, kind of, was look like he is going to the coach and uh, at the, you know, just 
they are, they are prepared it very well by the way Mumbai City FC but you know it came at the last moment that he will not continue so I think as of now there is no clarity given that who will be the head coach for the Mumbai City FC but I think till now club till club don't announce it we can't say anything as of now but I think they are also working on their foreign targets um, North East there is some development of course uh, the Israeli coach Marco Balboal uh, the name has been out. Uh, what I have told that he is kind of recommended by uh, Avram Grant, uh, who has worked with Northeast United in past and who has worked with Marco Balbul in past also. He has recommended him to the coach, uh, not signed as of now again. Uh, but uh, I think there is already a question mark over his experience as a head coach for a clubs. But what I am told his philosophy is of playing attacking football. So I think which Northeast uh, United fans uh, demand for. But uh, I think once the coach is getting gets done for them, I think we'll see them making moves for their foreign players very soon. Uh, ATK Mohan Magan made a surprising move or announcement, kind of start signing a, a Florentine Pogba uh, and uh, Brendan Hamill in, in last few weeks. Two foreign centre backs. Looks like the, and that Sandesh Jingan, I I've kept off guys informing that you know it's look like that he will continue with ATK Mohan Magan. Juan wants uh, his defender to be solid ball playing uh, centre back. And I think uh, the priority is to win AFC Cup, said last week also, we'll say again. Uh, they want, uh, Juan wants a uh, very defensive, solid team. And he also feels that, you know, uh, the bulk of scoring burden can be shared by one foreign striker, uh, uh, Liston Klaso, Manvir Singh, Ashik Kruayan. These, these, these Indian players can score the goals. Uh, and I think his overall style will suit these Indian players also. Uh, now, FC Goa, uh, they're still waiting for the winger target. Uh, to be get done uh, I think I think um, they have some of course it's a very complicated uh, kind of a deal which they're trying to get implement so we can't say we can't give any detail as of last week and the last update I has that you know uh, they are working over it and I think we should be getting the good uh, good news hopefully for uh, FC Goa fans very soon uh, we have seen working on their foreign targets uh, and I think uh, uh, there will be there will be I think uh, Two names of the foreign players either announced by club or coming out in next three to four days. I think it's 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 the, it's the high time they are very la at the last stage as of now. So let's see. And I think uh, covered most of the team uh, till now. Uh, East Bengal, of course, uh, not covered, but East Bengal, we all know that where they were going through. Uh, Hyderabad FC foreign signing. They have they have retained Ugbeche. They have retained uh, Chanazi also. I think it's a more of a centre back. They're looking for and. Uh, uh, which which will come very soon. VP Soer, uh, very interesting transfer saga this season. I think North East is very adamant of you know uh, not going to release their players uh, uh, in lesser value. We have seen with Inthoi, we have seen with Apoya and all. So I think I think they are also trying to uh, holding the VP Soer for a bit bit longer. Uh, and I think he is Kerala's top Indian top Indian target this season. So I think Kerala last year look very keen on that. Ashish, why cannot they cap uh, players age in state leagues under 23 when they cross 23 they should not be in the state leagues the players who cross 23 they should play in second or third division I think mostly it's like that all the I-League or ISL teams who play in the state leagues uh, they play the U teams they don't play the first teams you know uh, to give an example FC Goa, Kerala Blaster, Bengaluru FC so I think it's it's not there as such officially but it is there is uh, Silva and Gallego staying in India? Personally, I want him at Jamshedpur FC, Silit and Gallego. And Shield will be retained, trophy, and will come for in talks with any foreigners. Uh, don't think S Jamshedpur targeting Silva and Gallego for sure. I'm not, I'm not hurt so. Uh, but I think, uh, uh, can't say that it's staying in India as of now. Uh, let's see. But uh, by Jovetic, KVC, Jovetic rumor true. Uh, false. Well, I'm, I'm not sure how these rumors get replaced. Uh, Otis replacement is complete. I think that's what I'm talking about. The move FC Goa is preparing for the winger. It's Otis replacement only. It's not completed as of now. Who are the kit manufacturer of ISL team in this year? As of now, not announced, but most of the clubs will retain the manufacturer from the last season. Uh, which player of Caleb last year's Northeast United is interested in? Uh, I think I have kind of Utpal up if you don't remember a couple of weeks back I told that North East United want to send Gibson uh, on loan but uh, that deal is not still not done do you think Rafa can replace Alvaro at uh, in Kerala Blaster uh, I'm not sure that uh, Rafa is at the same caliber of Alvaro by the way Alvaro was at the different beast and different CV and different profile uh, but I feel the if Kerala Blaster will be able to get the first choice target, 
uh, that should be able to replace Alvaro uh, in terms of like to like replacement in terms of the profile at least on ground I'm not sure because we can't say until unless they play on the matches uh, coming for ISL opening matches match it's very far so we have to we have let's see and decide but I have some plan to watch ISL games from ground can we see Dempo Salgaokar sporting back in I-League uh, can you do an interview with the owners uh, I know the interest about the owners. I think Tempo will most likely try to get him dialing very soon. Uh, not sure of Salvaokar and Sporting as this, as of now. Uh, bro updates on uh, CFC goalkeeper and right back. Uh, uh, CFC will have an Indian. They are talking with the Indian goalkeeper. Um, that should be done. I think... Uh, uh, very soon. Uh, I feel so. Not sure of the right back at this stage. Uh, any any East Bengal when when we can hear good news we hope today good news but I think any there there the, the biggest and good news for East Bengal will be not the big player signing it will be the uh, of East Bengal signing three year deal with the, uh, their investors or five year deals whatever paper done dusted then only you can hope for the slow build for East Bengal I think it's not for them and that East Bengal should feel lucky that there is no relegation in the league. If there was a relegation, I think they the way relegation battle goes, they they always they don't have depth in their uh, squad, and uh, you know and with relegation if because I mean till now bottom half team के पास खेलने के लिए कुछ होता नहीं है later part of the league so कुछ इतना competitive नहीं रहता अगर relegation चालू हो जाए तो जो जिस team के पास depth कम होगी they will start struggling. Has Goa completed a signing? Saw Marcus tweet. Not sure, but uh, the foreign player I was told last was not done. Uh, as he was working for national team winger is Udanta Singh which is discussed in Twitter uh, I'm not sure Udanta is going to leave uh, Bangalore FC uh, that's one thing for sure uh, latest on Kela Laster Kela Laster latest I told that you know they're working on the targets uh, the names which are out in market are not their top targets by the way uh, so the top targets are still kept under the radar by Kela Laster they will hope they get the top targets not the names in the market uh, Roy Krishna I think Roy Krishna last update I gave you guys that you know there is high 70% chances he is not playing in India and I don't think that he will come back to India as of now nothing has changed since then um, that's on uh, uh, Rafa has played for Europa League uh, yeah uh, so uh, not uh, we have players who played in Europa League so not a big deal uh, uh, I heard Kira Vasa close to complete the signing of their top Indian target uh, top Indian target is VP Swear so if you heard VP Swear is close to done I have not heard as of now that it is close to done. Uh, when will Durand Cup start and where it will telecast? It will be starting in, in August. Uh, telecast, not sure as of now. Uh, but telecast will be there for sure. Uh, uh, Odisha FC new striker, not done. They are working on it. Uh, the Asian player update is very interesting. Most of the clubs are looking for uh, uh, defenders. Or defensive midfield and Asian players. They are good attacking players available in the market. But some of these clubs are not taking punt over it. I think that's surprising for me. Uh, because uh, there's, a, there's a good Asian strikers. Uh, to give an example, we've seen success of David Williams. You know, uh, there are other good uh, Asian strikers available in the market. Good attacking players. But clubs are very keeping very safe. Because most of the clubs still feel the Asian player will not generally play in the playing 11. They are they're keeping as an option. Not as a first choice player. Which direct direction club player if FC Goa targeting as their national team winger? Which direction? Munzil Sheikh, I question. Someone may have I. Side by so sir does Javier uh, Javier Sivario have extended his contract with Hyderabad FC? Last uh, last I check what Sivario. Uh, I think, I think he will most likely to be staying at Hyderabad but not heard as of now that he has signed the agreement or not. Uh, so we'll confirm it for the next week and let you know guys of the same or before if I get the confirmation. Uh, Kerala Blaster pre-season update. Uh, I think well, they are still not have uh, finalized the venue for the pre-season you know and uh, we have to wait for that but I think uh, you will see them doing a two type of pre-season you know they will they will be kind of uh, they will be kind of you know uh, having a assembling coaches and going out and playing in Durant Cup and then you know of course uh, 
and playing and doing and then, then getting ready for ISL. Any chance of promoting of reserve team players to the main team? Uh, there are good, some good young players at Kerala Rasa, you, uh, you reserve team who will be part of the first team this season and they will be playing in Dhuradka for sure. As is when ISL will release the statement regarding the match day fixtures when ISL will tell uh, clubs unofficially. I think, I think uh, they are still uh, July, I think third week we will hear about fixtures, uh, the timing of games, uh, the which days matches will take place. I think they are working on the permutation and combination for the same. Uh, remember the travelling is required so the fixtures will take time to get drawn accordingly. You know they don't want team to travel a lot. Uh, that's one thing. Uh, Will uh, Kerala Blaster and KF BFC? I think they're going to send two, two as you know, rules of the next next cup in UK. Two players above 21 can go till 23. So there will be some first team players, young players going out. Student Norim Roshan, say for example, for Bangalore can go, but that decision they have to take. Who will these young players for sure? Uh, update on Alvino Gomes. Alvino is uh, in was last I told that I was speaking with two ISL teams. Uh, but of course his salary will be not the same which he was getting in the previous club uh, and there's a question on Alan Chongwa who joined uh, who played for Sirinidhi last season if I remember correctly uh, is, is in of course is in demand last I told by the uh, by a couple of talking to a couple of ISL team not done as of now uh, let me check let me check my WhatsApp in the meantime for the same player. Lalan Chunga, Lal Chung, Lal Chung Gunnunga, Lalan Chung Gunja was wanted by was wanted by two ISL team and of course he has an offer from Sirindi to uh, continue. Uh, Kerala Blaster, any chance? Uh, Two ISL teams I was aware, I have to check for the Kerala's and where the talks have been reached but uh, he, this deal is not, but I, I, I think uh, the update in new room, as I keep on saying he has to get the release from this parent club and in which looks like that he is close to get and I think he will he most likely be the Kel joining Kerala Blaster permanently, uh, the Kerala Blaster offer is already in place and on table for him, uh, in which direction the club which FC Goa, same question which I am not getting. Uh, Duran Cup updates, it will be in August and I think uh, multiple venues will be there for Duran Cup. Uh, in which direction club which FC Goa is targeting as their finger like North? Oh, um, uh, Zimil Sheikh. I'm, I have to check for which, which Indian winger they are looking for. But I am not sure that uh, the top Indian wingers are available in the market right now. So, and uh, will the currently wingers they have... Uh, and the, this top and the Indian winger will improve on those wingers. Uh, which player impressed you most in at AFC Kuala other than Chetri? Which player disappointed you? I think um, which player impressed you most? I think I will go with uh, uh, Norem and Anwar Ali in terms of the impressions. Uh, not surprised, but I think the way they adopted to the international football is great. Uh, which player has disappointed me most? I think I'm not happy with uh, the Anrit Thapa could have played a bit better. Uh, that's one thing. Other thing is Manvir Singh has a mix outing. Uh, Udanta has also kind of impressed me with the over limited chances he's got. Uh, I think uh, that's that's it. I think you can't blame the teams when you have kept two clean sheet, won three matches. Uh, any 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 sir any Kerala update on domestic? Uh, I have given the update as of now. Uh, the top Indian target is the VP Swear, which they're still working on. Uh, the foreign names of Lopez which came out is not the top is not their top foreign target for that position. They have to uh, they have to they feel that if they if they can get their top foreign target for centre forward, that person that player should be good enough to replace Alvaro Vasquez. Any update on Willis FC left back and goalkeeper? I think still not done as of now, but let's see. Update on Upuya Apuya. Apuya is going through rehab from his injury. Somebody is saying uh, I guess Tmac has tweeted go through it. Let me see what I was Tmac has tweeted.
had a fruitful discussion with uh, COA and I'm thankful for them for their support to understand that national team needs to be focused now needing proper camp which is minimum two weeks in September in Kerala to international friendly one practice match with KFC Kerala Blaster similar plans in March 23 but a bit longer camp discussed many other points including the development plans missing COA best of luck and accepting the admission and FIFA timelines Jahin uh, again uh, uh, so he wants uh, so let's like India is not going to play in uh, November and October window uh, that's one thing we are getting from it uh, I think there is a November October window this time around because of the World Cup uh, so there is only September window is available for us to play friendly so if we can play two friendlies in September two friendlies in March but I think FIFA or the AFC Cup draw or AFC Cup draw will be there in January or something so I think uh, India is most likely to win pot 4 only uh, so these friendlies are should be for the preparation he, he wants to play Kerala last year in a practice match in Kerala uh, is it uh, uh, pre-season Kerala Blasters uh, in Kerala so I think where they will be out of it should be interesting uh, the option of is there is a Kochi, there is Trivandrum, they can based out of it and uh, the facilities need to be, uh, I am not sure uh, how many, uh, so one of course the Kerala Lasta will use the Kochi base, so I think they will be based out of Trivandrum or they can maybe use Kochi's facilities only, so I think uh, major uh, decision here is to give him extension, uh, of course he will be, he has the uh, contract till the end of the September, so should they wait? and uh, give him uh, leave the decision of giving contract to new executive committee the coa because if uh, what i was told last that you know the coa is not in position to hire new people so they can't hire new people so even they if they they don't want to see back to continue they they have to give somebody who's already part of afo system to the, the responsibility for national team so the option is very limited here. So I think let's see if can they, they will give any extension to uh, CMAC or leave it to the new executive committee because his contract is there till September. But I think if they leave his contract till September, I'm not sure CMAC will continue with India. So I think he will want new contract for sure before going into the September camp. So and uh, we'll get the more details of the uh, CUA meeting with the national team players and the coach in upcoming days and upcoming hours. Uh, let me let go through the comments. Uh, Ashish Vai Sandesh Jingan dreaming again. Uh, okay. Ashish Vai Sandesh Jingan dreaming again and again about the playing in Europe after going top league in Asia. He has to think about his level where he can play in Europe. Why they are not leaving India at 7? I think 26, 27 years are too late for Indian players to go to Europe for sure. And I totally agree. So hopefully Sandesh Jingan is advised uh, the same. Uh, don't you feel CFC are rushing with the foreigners too much? Uh, Deepak, I don't feel so. Once your foreigners' targets are locked, I think uh, Chennai FC wants to start their preseason early and they want to start their preseason with all the players. So they want to get it. So every team has a different strategy, you know. Uh, some want to wait for the other targets to get available. And if Chennai FC feels the top targets are available, I think it's, it's good them they're doing the deal early possible. Uh, some of the clubs uh, have also done the deals, but you know they take time to take announce uh, to announce. To give an exa example, Jamshedpur FC announced their transfers way way later. Uh, they have a different strategy to the announcement. Chennai FC have a different strategy, so it's I'm not I'm not feel I'm not feeling that they're rushing uh, towards the signing their uh, uh, announcing their foreign players. Any update with the team send main team or the reserve? It will be a mixed team in the Durand Cup for sure. Uh, heard Otis replacement can be a Moroccan who has played in Europa League and also. Top players from Europe, how would you raise Otis replacement out of 10? I think if they get top target, I will replace 9 out of 10. Do you think ISL clubs should focus on mid core uh, country players of less than 30 rather than 34 plus top 11 country? I feel they should get mid 20s players. Uh, you know, uh, some, some of the signing in recent time have been very good. Uh, you know, Alvaro Vasquez, for example, is a good signing. Uh, which Caleb Lasher did last season. Priorat as well is a good signing. Um, you know, uh, Greg Stewart was a very good signing from Jamshedpur FC. So these kind of signing I'm a fan of. I'm not a fan of uh, signing a big old players with a big CV. Are Daniel Chima Chuku and Jordan Murray staying in Jamshedpur FC or we're going to sign two solid foreign strikers? I think uh, Murray and uh, Chima might stay, uh, but we still have to wait for the confirmation for the same. Let's wait for the uh, coach. Kerala Chancho replacement. I think Kerala Lasher in, in talks with the attacking Asian players. Kerala Rush is the team who might get the attacking Asian players. Uh, uh, secondary striker that they are looking for. So still not done though. Uh, we can't throw name as of now. We are talking to multiple players at right now. Uh, not from A-League. Uh, can't say anything on that. Have to wait. 
सर वे फॉरेन प्लेयर्स जॉइन दी सी एफ सी फॉर डोरत कप आई थिंक डिपेंड्स द क्लैरिटी इज नॉट गिवन एज ऑफ नाउ फ्रॉम चेन्नई एफ सी रिगार्डिंग द सेम सो वंस वी गेट इट वी लेट यू नो दैट्स इट दी ट्रांसफर ऑन खेलना वेबसाइट देर इज आर्टिकल फॉर दी ऑल द ट्रांसफर डील्स डन टिल नाउ लेट मी ऑल्सो फुट ए कमेंट सेक्शन which you can find so we are updating that article on real time basis uh, so every transfers including contract extension are done is there if you find i if you can search on google or you can go to this link all the transfers t- done till now are in this article so if you have miss any transfer deal contract extension you will find on this also uh, one thing is there uh, on the home page of kerala you can find indian football transfer news on top of the menu go there you can feel the you can see the all the latest transfer news Uh, we have started doing scouting report again go to kerala.com you can read the scouting report of the chennai fc young signing uh, jitesh singh who was a uh, very good midfielder upcoming midfielder from i league so we are doing this kind of stuff there were a mix of coverage on kerala not just transfer uh, news we we do analysis we do interviews and all you will keep on finding on kerala.com all the social media handles are there in description tab and you can follow me on twitter seven nege ashish will keep on tweeting interesting stuff whenever i can so uh, have discussed on roy krishna status most likely 70% not coming back to india huan is not in prelim jingan is that true and i think i have discussed on huan sandeep jingan uh, issue last week also and i have said they are they don't want to huan wants to, uh, ball playing center forward center backs and which is he got to to now uh uh kerala blaster midfielder have to wait for kerala blaster foreign updates i think they going through their targets not done as of now Sir, which country Alvaro replacement players are from? Which country? I think the top target. Uh, if 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 one one target was from Spain. Uh, there was a Polish striker who were also in talks with Kerala last in past last season also this season also. So I think there there are multiple country. Uh, can I join Kerala? Uh, you can send your CV Harshit on jobs at the rate Kerala dot com. We'll see if we can find a role for you. Uh, can we accept a live twice a week? We are trying to set up something. Uh, this little legend. I am trying to get more podcast. The podcast is going to come from studio with Mr. Saji Prabhakaran. Uh, the audio is already out uh, on all the top platform, uh, and the, we are changing the format of podcast. Instead of releasing one hour, two hour podcast in one go, we are going to release in a separate segment now. so do watch out for those and do you can listen it if you don't if you don't want to wait for the video audio is already available on the all top platform beyond the score is the name of the podcast you can search it on any audio platform you are in you will find it uh, it's a very good interesting podcast is all about the elections at aff will sajib arvakaran going to fight those elections how the aff president will get choose who can stand in those elections we talked about many stuff first part is out the other parts are coming very soon uh which day you are going to conduct episode on which day whether you on friday monday or thursday i think that's let's decide uh, maybe next week we'll put a poll uh, next week friday the uh, which is the ideal day uh, for the inside indian football should be friday thursday or monday so you guys decide whatever you guys vote for uh, we will 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 shift the episode to that day uh that's it guys do like the video uh, if you have not liked till now uh thank you for uh, uh, 100 rupees super chat uh, kisi ne bheji thi uh, just have to forget his name so we'll go th- thank you very much keep on sending your love and support to us uh, um, not anything on north east united has already given the update on the head coach uh, which is repre- uh, recommended by avram grand by the way uh, so guys thank you very much uh, i will see you again next week friday 6 pm uh by the time you can follow khelna on twitter at the rate khelna khelna on instagram telegram facebook khelna football can can visit khelna.com for all the latest update transfer news uh so you know uh, many things are happening during the week so not everything we have done cover on these videos so do look for that uh can you do some analysis video for getting more interactive sessions analysis videos will come i think we'll do more of a profiling of foreigners uh when we go into the season so we are, that's again that have to restructure again i think team analysis have not worked the way i wanted the those videos to work so let's see how we can uh, ch- reformat and change them so guys thank you very much uh, i will see you again next week uh, 6 pm friday thank you for watching do subscribe the channel and hit the notification